Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today our topic is about the Paxhawk 1 flat controller. Or, if you prefer, I would call it a drum. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to use the Paxhawk 1 flight controller to let a drone fly into the sky. It includes software configuration and hardware configuration. At the beginning, you have to know what is a flight controller and how it works. From this picture, you can see four motors at each corner. And the flight controller, what it does is receiving sensors data and processing those data to control the four motors. In the end, by controlling the four motors, he let the drone fly. That's the basic theory about the flight controller. You may ask why they want to make a hardware to do that job. Well, it's simple because the master logic behind the hardware is very complex. It's very complicated. So they want to make a hardware to do all those jobs. So they don't have to make those control logic over and over again every time when they want to light a drone fly. At the beginning, I want to talk about the software environment first because that's the cheapest way to know the whole sense about the drone. For this hardware, I mean Paxhawk, you got two systems available to install. The first one is PX4 Autopilot and another one is the Copper. They both are open sourced. The Copper system is older but and the PX4 system is newer. In software engineering world, the newer the better, so I would recommend you guys to use the PX4. And also, this tutorial is based on PX4. For each of the systems, the best resource that you can find on the internet is the official document. So if you have any question or if you want to learn more beyond about this tutorial, you can always check those documents freely and you can always find your answers inside of those documents. In the software side, what we are going to use is the simulator. The simulator is being called uh, JMA Way SIM. JMA Way SIM is a simple mute rotor simulator that allows you to fly copper type vehicles running PX4 around a simulated world. All you need to, do, you need to know is that it's just a simulator that allows you to fly a drone on your computer. To install the simulator, all I did is click the simulation free requirements link to get into this web page. And from this web page, we know that uh, the JMWay SIM support Linux, MAC, and Windows. And then I click the JMWay SIM SITL link. This link led me to this web page. How to set a development environment on Linux. It can be installed on different type of Linux. But I just want to recommend you guys to use Ubuntu because that's the most convenient system in software engineering world. You don't have to compile all things by yourself. The official software store got all those things for you. First, make the user a member of the group dealt on the command prod you enter this command to do that job for you. Then log out and log in your computer. After that, download this script, run this script by using this command and restart your computer. Back to the old time when I did this. I also run the ub2 samuel.sh this script 
so you'd better run this script too. After I did this, it just led me to a directory on my computer. From here, we can see a lot of fields, but we don't know how to handle it, how to handle them. So we back to the document. It shows if you want to run it, you can copy this command and paste it at this directory. Let's do it. And we say a simulator just started. And the command line has become something like this. You can type help to see all the commands. Now let's back to the document. From here we can see how to let the drum start to fly. The command is commander take off. Let's type it. Commander take off. After we did that, you can see the fly. I mean the drum start to fly. After it reaches the default height or altitude, it stays there. Now what I'm going to do is land it, let it land by using this command. And you can see it just land. By the way, this simulator requires Java 8 development uh, environment. For those of you who don't know how to install Java 8, you can search for this tutorial to get in touch about how to install Java on your Yuptoon. And I want to say it's quite boring. But that's the thing that you have to do if you want to run this simulator because it is written by Java. What a shame about that. You got two ways to control your drone. One is to a software which is called QGround Control. Another is by programming. You have to use a package which is called Map SDK Python. I will start from the simple one. You will download the QGround Control from its official website or here is the link QGroundControl.appImage Then you install it by using the two command. After that, here in my desktop, I already have that software. So I just have to double click the icon. And it will start that software. software. At the beginning, you don't know anything, so all you have to do is click the take off button here and select, select to confirm. You will say that the, the drone start to fly. That's good. Or you can just select to confirm to let it start the mission. After that, you will say the drone start to fly in a very high altitude. Then it will start to move by the direction that you just set on the QGround controller software. From here, we can see that uh, we just set a path like a triangle. After it was finished, if you click the RTL, means return to the home location. If you confirm that action, it will start to go back to the start point. By knowing this, it's not enough to control your drone. So you have to do some exploration by yourself. Say those configurations that uh, makes your drone unique. Here I'm going to uh, change the altitude height. I mean how high it will go when you run the takeoff command. I'm going to set the 1 meter to 5 meter so we can see it clearly. After that, you just have to reboot your drone. You click the toss and reboot the vehicles. Click the OK button. You will notice that your simulator has stopped after that operation. All you have to do is run the simulator again. Now let's run the takeoff command again to see what will happen. Ok, it starts to fly at a higher altitude. And that's what we have set from the Q1 controller. 
we could say is the current uh, current uh, attitude or drawn art and it is five meter it's very accurate now i'm going to introduce you how to use python script to control your drone let's go back to the github repository page from here we can know how to install that by using pipe so we just do this okay after that you just have to get one of the examples example here i'm going to use uh, take off and land script i'm going to copy all those codes into my local environment here i'm going to run this code and you will say that the drone start to fly and it will land immediately this is how to use the python to control your drone it's quite simple right this is how we do the software configuration about uh, our drone during this tutorial we have learned what is a drone what is a pex hawk what is a flight controller and what is px4 and how to use q ground control software to control our drone and how to use python script to control our drone and also how to set up a simulator for a drone okay that's it i will see you in the next video bye